Children are great by their very nature, and we have the privilege and responsibility of raising them. It can be challenging at times. Let's talk about it. Today, I want to talk about what to do when you're not sure how to help your child and you're feeling stuck. Hi. I'm Cynthia Armstrong. I'm a general and special education teacher. I homeschooled my children for five years and in uh, the Raising Great Kids uh, channel, I talk about uh, how um, the things that I've researched, the things that I've learned and applied and practiced uh, can help you to raise great kids. Today, I'm talking about um, what to do when we feel stuck and not sure how to help our child. Uh, often, um, we work and we do something and we think that's what's going to help our child, or I just don't even have a clue what to do anymore. I've tried what I know, it hasn't worked. Uh, and one of the things that happens is that our brain is negatively biased. And so it um, takes on these patterns of, of negativity. And even when we're trying not to, it still can subconsciously happen. And then we feel stuck because we're focused on the things that are not happening with our child that we want to happen. Um, you know, that improvement in behaviors, that improvement in academics, that improvement in um, their independence and being self-reliant and uh, responsible. <laughs> Any of those things. Um, as parents, it's really easy to see those things that um, that they're struggling with. And when our brain latches on to that, it, it thinks about that, then that's kind of what our world presents as. It'll say, oh, you want to notice this? Oh, I'll bring more of this into your life. And so the, the biggest tip for when you're feeling stuck is to look for improvement. Um, and as an early childhood and uh, kindergarten teacher, when we work with those young age, we really learn how to not just, you know, make steps, but we make micro steps. <laughs> because uh, especially when they come in, we just are having our first day of school actually today. <laughs> and so uh, I know that as I go into that uh, situation of that first day with these kindergarten students, um, they're really truly um, not sure because even if they've attended preschool, um, there's a, a huge difference in kindergarten. And so we micro step everything, you know, how to walk into the school, how to hang up our backpacks, uh, how to um, you know, listen to the teacher. That's one of the first um, things that I talk about is we listen when the teacher is is talking. And so we teach all these micro steps. And then it's not about, oh, did they listen when the teacher was talking? It's about making those improvements. Uh, and I've done this with my own children in my personal life. And it makes a huge difference because then it retrains my brain. So I've micro stepped, but then it's not like they have to complete that micro step. I tell them, you know, that, hey, we listen when our teacher's talking. And now when they're talking, when I'm trying to give directions or to teach, then I'm going to become grumpy and frustrated. No, that doesn't help at all. And I'm stuck in noticing all the things that are going on that aren't right where it's supposed to be. They're, they're not listening, right? But if I take that step back and um, I look oh, you know what, when I was talking in those five minutes, um, 
they only, you know, blurted out or talked over me or talked to their neighbor, you know, 10 different times. And so in that five minutes, there were 10 times that happened. And this is information for me. And then, um, you know, the next day, I might choose another five minutes and, um, and do that same thing. And you know what? They only spoke over me like eight times. Wow. I mean, we're down two in one day. And uh, I mean, look at how much they're improving already. And we remind, you know, we go over the rules pretty much every time we walk into the class. Um, that and But the focus isn't on, um, yes, no, you did it, you didn't. It's about improving. And when we create um, rules, um, whether they're family rules, classroom rules, um, I don't always like to, to call them rules. Um, but there are, um, you know, they're that objective. They're where we're going towards. Um, or those, their um, rules are tools to help us get to where we're going. But again, it's not black and white. It's not um, true or false, yes or no. It's the improvement that we're looking for. So, um, like one of the things is, you know, help our family be stronger. And so that we can talk about how, you know, their behaviors um, can affect the family. And is that helping the family to be stronger? Uh, but we're also focused um, on individual, because if an individual um, has what they need or they're able to show or develop their personal strengths, that helps our family be stronger. And so there's uh, this shift when we are, instead of being focused on the stuck and all the things we're lacking or our child's lacking, and that's creating that lack in us. Uh, and we make that shift to making improvements, even tiny microscopic improvements. And if, okay, my children blurted out 10 times one day, uh, eight times the next day, five times, and then they go back to eight that fourth day, I can still go, wow, we're still overall making that progress forward. And I can go, huh, I know they're able to do five. What was different about today? Was it, you know, me, the energy I brought? Was it um, the particular topic? Was were, were there things they that was it like too much for them? They didn't quite get it because when children don't quite get it, if we're talking above where they're currently at, then then these things will happen. They'll blurt out more because I wasn't able to meet them right where they're at and help them grow from there. And so um, that's just, again, it's information. Oh, I'm, I'm excited to look at this information so I can see what is going on so that I can uh, best help my children. And so continue to look for those improvements. And I will uh, tell you, for me, when I first started this improvement journey instead of, yes, no, you didn't, you didn't, um, things like that, that it was really hard for my brain. My brain was so set in that um, stuck, that negativity, the looking for what was lacking, uh, that it didn't know how to see the steps to even then micro step it down. But here's the thing. If we ourselves just make little micro improvements, if we just try, and even if it doesn't work, we try again, uh, and we are focused on noticing, then 
over time, our brain begins to see, oh, that's how I can micro step it. Oh, that's the step in it. Oh, I can see how when, you know, we, how um, the things that I am doing are affecting my child instead of um, for making it more difficult for them rather than helping them um, to make easier improvements. And so we can look at that. And then if we go, yes, and we don't go, oh, but I still didn't, duh, 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 you know, uh, you know, and list all those things we didn't do because then where's our focus again? Our focus is on those things that we don't have, um, those things that we didn't do instead of um, switching our brain to that positive because all of that continues down the paths of negativity that just kind of comes naturally to our brain uh, and doesn't benefit us or our family. And so even when we make the tiniest improvement ourselves, we celebrate that. Oh yeah, I only yelled this much of today instead of all of today. Or if we look for those improvements, then our brain will begin to create those new pathways that let us look for the, the positivity, for the growth, for where we are um, making those gains. And then what is the focus on? On improvement, on gains. And then guess what's going to come into our lives? Because our brain is looking for it and going towards that. Yeah, those gains and improvement and will increase in those things that we have. And so it is so vital to um, make that switch um, to the improvement so that we're not stuck so that we can see the growth and the growth will happen even faster. So remember that we have that privilege, that responsibility in raising these kids who are great. And I will see you in another episode. Hi friends, Cynthia Armstrong here. Thanks for joining us today. Please make sure that you subscribe to our channel so you can see when new videos come out and like this one. It is such a responsibility and a challenge to raise great kids and we are here to help you along that journey to make it as enjoyable and fun and fulfilling as possible. Please check out our website, www.raisinggreatkids.net, and I will leave that in the description below.